But right. uh, later on, towards the end, I, I mentioned that match that I had with uh, Rick Steiner. And uh, Eric Bischoff was putting together a deal to try to buy WCW at the time, That's right, right before yeah. it was sold out to WWE. And people were so convinced, the guys were so convinced that Eric was going to do this and that that was a foregone conclusion that he was backstage and was basically in charge calling the shots at that point. And my last right. Thunder that I ever wrestled on, they had me booked against Rick Steiner. And the reasoning behind that was they wanted to build him back up. They had felt like guys like a Rick Steiner who were a little bit on the back end of their career, but were still viable superstars yeah. and legitimate tough guys that they could still get a lot of mileage out of. Uh, they felt like they had been diminished as characters during the LaRusso era because they weren't given the attention that they deserved. And when they were used, they weren't utilized as the monsters that they were before. It was for Gaga and humor and things like that. So um, I remember Eric walked past me, or I walked past him actually. And as I'm walking past him backstage, and he had never really talked to me that much before then, he goes, hey. And I turned around, he goes, cut your hair, it looks goofy. And I thought, man, I don't know if I should be offended or what's the deal, you know? So I kind of walk off feeling a little dejected and not sure why I've got heat or what the deal is or whatever. And not long after that, um, he comes up to me, he goes, hey, I want to apologize if I came off a little harsh. He goes, I didn't mean it like that at all, the way it sounded. He goes, here's what I'm thinking. You're wrestling Rick tonight. We want to build him back up to the monster that he used to be. I would like for you to take a little time off of TV, cut your hair, lean down a little bit because, hey, we've been wearing the T-shirts with the MIA. I didn't have to worry about abs or anything <laughs> like that. Either. He goes, if you'll lean down a little bit and cut your hair and change your look just slightly, come back leaner and meaner in a legitimate cruiserweight, we'll put the strap on you and give you a little bit of run as cruiserweight champion. And so, obviously, I appreciated that. And the other thing it accomplished that same night was – they did sort of the your job. You know, I, I wrestled Rick Steiner. He he beat me up so bad they had to carry me out in an ambulance. And that gave me a reason to be off TV for a while. It helped build him back up to the guy that he was before. And we we would be off to the races, except, you know, I'm sitting at home after that and, and see that the company got sold like, <laughs> like everybody else watched it live on Nitro. I was uh, crazy when that happened. And... Uh... 